Hi, this is um, uh, the Crafting with Opal program that I do on Thursdays, and, and now we're doing them at 4 o'clock. Um, this is for the, um, well, I work for the Central Arkansas Library System, and I work at the Nixon branch in Jacksonville. And uh, we usually do this program at night, or we've been doing this program at night um, at 7 on Thursdays for the last year. Yeah, it's been a good year, so we've been doing this um, virtually. And um, anyway, uh, this is the first time in a while we've had one at the library. Um, so uh, tonight, or today, it's not tonight, I'm so used to saying tonight. Um, we're going to be making a uh, little uh, sewing needle holder and I found actually a picture of one on the internet a while back and I thought that was pretty cool. There was no directions on how to make it so I just kind of figured out. Let me get my example. This is, I had a different example but I made another one. But um, this is basically what it is. It's an old medicine bottle. <clears throat> with fabric on it and some, uh, um, I guess, just different, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what all those different things are. Um, what is it? Ribbon. Yeah. The, the different types of ribbon and stuff that coordinates with it. And just more fabric for a little pin cushion that's on top and a little button as decoration. Um, and you can use this for... Uh, needles, buttons, any kind of accessories that you use uh, with sewing or you could use it for something else. Or you can make it a little miniature sewing kit if you wanted. You could have some foldable scissors even to put in it. But um, I just thought it was a neat little craft that you could make and um, it wasn't too hard to figure out. And you can use different size um, uh, bottles. I have even got some medicine bottles that are quite large. Um, that would be pretty cool. You could hold a lot more things in it. Um, then it would be the same premise of what I'm, I'm how I'm making this one. So I'm gonna switch over the to my table here where you can see all the supplies. Um, if you signed up for supplies, you will have gotten. Um, a medicine bottle and uh, the lid, lids over here. Um, I also gave a little cheap brush for painting the glue on. Uh, we did not um, include the Mod Podge glue. Um, just, you know, you could pick up some of that at the uh, store or Walmart or wherever, craft store. Um, I did include a piece of fabric that is cut out to the size of this particular medicine bottle and I cut out um, a couple of pieces of ribbon for the bottom of the bottle and then I also cut out a different um, piece of ribbon that's got little polka dots on it that's going to go along the top here. You also got a button and a piece of foam and a piece of felt that's round. Those pieces are going to go on top of the lid whenever we're doing that portion. You should have gotten some uh, thread that coordinates with it and a needle. I went ahead and threaded my needle. Um, and you would have gotten a round piece of fabric for the pincushion and some. this is the stuffing for the pincushion. We'll be using that later. And that's basically all the supplies you really need to have. Um, some extra things that might be handy if you're not near uh, where you can get to a sink to clean off, like glue off your fingers and so forth. It's handy to have some paper towels and um, a, a thing of water, but of course, since we're going to be using that to clean the glue off our hands, you, you want this to be a, like a disposable type type glass of water and not one that you would drink out of, of course. And um, probably some scissors would be handy, um, especially, um, I've, I've got some on hand, but I probably won't have to use mine much, but um, they have some scissors on hand. Um, the supplies that I gave out, a lot of you are going to have to cut out your circle. I, I drew the circle on there, so you'll just have to cut it. And then um, the circle of this fabric, you'll have to cut it out too, because I didn't cut that one out. 
but that should be really most of the stuff that you're going to be cutting. Um, we may do a little bit of trimming to the ribbons, possibly once we're gluing them to the bottle and the other pieces that we're going to be gluing to it. Um, we may do a little bit of trimming, so it's going to be good to have some decent scissors on hand, too. So, um, alright, I'm going to get started on showing you how to put this together. You're going to start with your bottle um, and take your lid off of it. It will make it a lot easier trying to put this on there. And I might even take this a little bit more and back it up. Oh, and this wants to fall. Make sure it's not going to fall while I'm doing this. So you'll need to get your glue. You could use some Elmer's glue. It doesn't, Elmer's glue tends not to glue quite as quickly. Um, or dry as quickly as Mod Podge, but um, you could use it. Um, let's see here, I'm having strands of Mod Podge go everywhere. When I undid the thing, it, it has all this loose stuff that came out. So let me pull that loose. I'm messy, I'm glad I had extra paper towels. So um, you're going to start with putting glue on your bottle. If you have a bigger um, like um, brush that's, um, originally when I did this one, I used a larger foam brush to paint them, or you have to paint the glue on here because you can cover more surface faster um, with a foam brush. But since I included um, uh, this size brush with your um, supplies. I'm just going to use this one to show you that it's possible to do it with just this little brush. And just kind of try to do as thin of a layer um, over your bottle as possible. Um, and this will get a little messy and get on your hands, but it's not super glued, so it's not going to uh, be hard to get off of your fingers. So. I'm just going to cover this up good. I did cover the bottle a lot faster with that foam brush when I was doing it the first couple of times that I tried it out. But this won't be too bad. Just hoping it won't start drying on me too much here. Okay. I got back around faster than what I thought because this is a not a very large bottle. Okay. I think I've got enough on there, so I'm going to throw my brush in my water to keep it from getting dried up while I'm doing this. Okay, so now you're going to lay your fabric on the bottle, and I'm going to use gravity to help. Oops, I touched the other side of the bottle, which I do that a lot. I'm going to stick my finger in the the water and kind of clean my fingers off real quick. That's the one thing that's hard to do, not to to get it.